Have you ever wanted your lighting to look like this? You've got bright portals and beacons, individual pixels glowing by themselves. It's all nicely selected and separated. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen this before. I'm obviously talking about my selective glow pack. I've made it for Minimeter 1.1.3, I think. But since then, the textures have changed, lots of new blocks were added, and of course, it got really outdated. My attention to the pack came back when I was working on the shaders in Minimeter video, because I wanted to use it, and I think it still uses the old textures. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. But the textures were really weird. So I finally took my time, it took me six hours, because Minecraft has over 861 block textures, plus the entities and the bug fixes. It took a lot of time, but I've remade this with the new textures for Minimeter 1.2.8 which means it also supports 1.17 assets so the glow lichen and all the new stuff are supported as well if you like what you see i want to ask you to drop a like and hit the bell to show your support and with all this out of the way let me show you how to use this thing there's a link in the description that will take you to a download page where you will get this thing sharp selective glow now mind you it's a zip file so open it up with winrar archiver or 7zip or literally anything that lets you view its contents and inside you have four things you have three other zip files and a readme notepad. This is literally just the instructions. I'm literally gonna explain this to you in the video right now. But let's get back to the other zip file. Just drag them out and you can actually delete this thing. Th these are your texture packs. These are three resource packs that will modify the scenery. Put them somewhere you know where they are. I'm just gonna put them here in my textures folder. Blah. And if I just open up a new scene, sure, why not? I was gonna sneeze, but it never came. Import a scenery. This step usually takes a while because my meter. Oh, never mind. Say I wanna pick this part, increase the height. Sure. So this is your casual scenery. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna go under texture and give this a texture. And first of all, I wanna browse for the no glow zip file. This is a resource pack that only includes the non-glowing bits. So not only does it separate glowing blocks from normal blocks, but it also separates individual pixels on those blocks. So the glowing blocks are only going to glow on their most intense parts. Now duplicate this scenery. Actually, I can call the first one no glow to, to keep some organization. Also, I'm going to put it on 0, 0, 0. So they're always going to be in the same place. Now the duplicated version, I'm going to apply a texture, which is going to be the glow zip file. So this is only going to contain the glowing bits. I'm gonna rename it to glow. Also, I'm gonna change the preview icon. I took it as a placeholder from Vanilla Tweaks. Now this glow scenery is not used in your project, so select it and click this thing to make an instance on the timeline. And now just put it to 000, it's gonna be on the same place as the rest of the stuff. So now something interesting happens. If you select your glow, it's gonna highlight only the glowing bits. So I've separated the glowing bits from the non-glowing ones. Duplicate this again, slide glow and give it a texture of the slide glow. Give it a second. Takes a while, take your time, put it on the timeline, put it to zero, 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 and these are only the, s the slightly glowing ones. Background, if I put this to night, just so we can see the effect, go to glow, put the brightness up, boom! Go to slight glow, put the brightness up a little bit, so you can see it's slightly glow, maybe this is too much. Sure, you can also go to glow if you want and make it actually glow, you know? Put the glow color a little bit down, mess with the glow settings, boom! You can also make the slight glow one glow a little bit, but you should probably bring the the glow color down. So look, you've got your glowing stuff. You're obviously gonna add some lighting because this by itself does not look okay. Well, you've got all the animations here. It supports texture animations. As you can see, the magma blocks are still moving. The lava's moving. The fire's here. It's all good. However, one thing is broken and I admit that it's the respawn anchor. It's got 32 frames and lots of details on the image. But the problem why it's not animated is because it's semi-transparent. Now the respawn anchor is not a semi-transparent block. So semi-transparent textures simply aren't gonna Gonna work. I could fix it by changing every single individual pixel to be non semi transparent, but that's a whole lot of work. So 32 frames on a 16 by 16 image that's that's 32 times 256 pixels which I need to manually paint and that's a lot of work and I'm not too bothered by this if you really want to fix it you can just add like a like a portal block on top it's gonna work fine I don't even think that many people use respawn anchors to be fair and even if they do it's not really the top might not even be visible in the animation I'm not too bothered by this this is a bug that I acknowledge but I don't have the energy to fix so that is pretty much it I also figured out the glow berries are missing I'm gonna fix this as I was watching this video I saw they're missing so I'm gonna make a quick run through all the things here, fix all the bugs that I can find, and put the download link in the description, it's all there. And if you guys do find a bug, please let me know 
in the comment section down below so I can fix it, update the download file, and you guys can have the best of the best. Now, if you use this, I would um, <laughs> like to have some credit for this because it took a lot of time and I would appreciate if you guys mentioned my name when you use it. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. Have fun with the pack and I'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp.